In the past, Stan Lee has often been referred to as the sole creator of Spider-Man, something that has upset the publicity shy Steve Ditko. He had complained to me a number of times when uh, there were articles written about Spider-Man which uh, called me the creator of Spider-Man. And I had always thought I was because I'm the guy who said, I have an idea for a strip called Spider-Man and so forth. Steve obviously felt differently, and in 1999, in a small fanzine, he depicted the two sides of the story as he saw it. This is his only known response to the claims that Spider-Man was solely Stan Lee's creation. Steve had said, having an idea is nothing, because until it becomes a physical thing, it's just an idea. And he said it took him to draw the strip and to give it life, so to speak, or to make it actually something tangible. Um, it, otherwise, all I had was an idea. So I said to him, well, I think the person with the idea is the person who creates it. And he said, no, because I drew it. Anyway, Steve definitely felt that he was the co-creator of Spider-Man. And that was really, after he said it, and I saw it meant a lot to him, that was fine with me. So I said, fine, I'll tell everybody you're the co-creator. That didn't quite satisfy him, so I sent him a letter. I put it in writing. To whom it may concern, this is to a state that I consider Steve Ditko to be the co-creator of Spider-Man along with me, something like that. And I sent it to him and I said, you can show this to anybody you want to. And I found out that Steve still objected to that because he felt, I used the word consider, I consider Steve to be the co-creator. Apparently he felt that wasn't definite enough. So at that point I gave up. I mean, we just, um, I haven't spoken to him or heard from him since, I don't think. But do you yourself believe that he co-created it? I'm willing to say so. That's not what I'm asking you, sir. No, and that's the best answer I can give you. So it's a no then, really? Pardon me? So it's a no then. No, really. I really think the guy who dreams the thing up created it. You dream it up and then you give it to anybody to draw it. I mean... But if it had been drawn differently, it might not have been successful or hit, I suppose. Yeah, but then I would have had created something that didn't succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. But I don't want to... I, 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 you made me say that. Yes in this documentary that you're doing, and I'm sorry I said it because I'm happy to say I consider Steve to be the co-creator. But you can see... Uh, I, I think if Steve wants to be called the co-creator, I think he deserves to be called the co-creator because he had done such a wonderful job. Stan has, has told me that he was insistent that on the movies that Steve's name be right alongside his with Spider-Man. So Stan, who to me was a guy who I think unfairly um, has, has been uh, kind of seen as a guy who took uh, credit for everything when he had people like Kirby and did go working with him. I never saw it that way. I always got the sense when I was reading the books that the two of them very, were very much in collaboration and whenever something again was plotted by Ditko, it said plotted by Ditko. <laughs> And for many a comic book fan, the absolute genius of the Ditko Lee collaboration was best demonstrated in Spider Man issue number 33, the final chapter. <laughs>